What's the best thing about flying Vietnam Airlines, you ask? Well, it's that you always know what to expect. Hi there, my name is Kevin. This channel came from a love of traveling, a love of the full process and the journey itself. I feature airline trip reports and high-end hotel reviews from all over the world. My reviews aren't sponsored by airlines or hotels, so you can be sure to get my unbiased and honest opinion. Am I an expert? You can decide. Am I fair? Yeah, I am. Let's get into it. Welcome to Ho Chi Minh City. If you'd like to know the exact fare that I paid for my flight or my next five videos in queue, please check out the description below. There may have been a few days gap in between, but this is the third of three flights that brought me from Koh Samui in Thailand to Nha Trang in Vietnam. And it blows my mind a bit that this is the 65th trip report on the channel, but only the first of a domestic flight in Vietnam. I will very happily be using the Sky Priority counters and security because of Sky Team Elite Plus status, which means check-in and security combined will be completed in less than 5 minutes total. One note from the get-go about flying to Nha Trang from anywhere inside of Vietnam. You're actually not flying to Nha Trang, but rather a small town to the south of the city called Cam Ranh. While your boarding pass may say Nha Trang, all signage in the airport will only say Cam Ranh. I was heading up to the Vietnam Airlines Lotus Lounge, which is at the far end of the domestic terminal, only to find out, or well, rather be re-reminded, that Sky Team Elite Plus doesn't grant you access unless you have a connecting international flight. So, with my tail securely between my legs, I turned around and headed to the domestic version of the Le Saguenay's Lounge. Vietnam Airlines, colloquially known as VNA, traces its roots back to 1956. Their first international destinations, launched in 1976, predictably for the time, were to Beijing and Vientiane. It wasn't until 1989 when they became the official flag carrier of Vietnam, though. And even more importantly, in 1994, when the trade embargo was lifted and relations with the US began to normalize, they were finally able to begin modernizing their fleet. In 1996, the government brought together 20 different existing companies to form the modern Vietnam Airlines. VNA owns 100% of Vietnam Air Services Company, also known as VASCO, as well as 99% of Pacific Airlines, as well as a host of other airline and airport-related companies across the country. The lounge here is comfortable and well-maintained with a host of food offerings, but it does tend to get really busy at times with Vietjet, Bamboo Airways, and Viet Travel Airlines all sending some of their passengers here along with a multitude of card-based entry systems accepted. With their 97 aircraft, they currently fly to a total of 64 destinations across 17 countries, but their domestic network is where the bulk of their operation lies. They have a true dual hub system, utilizing Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, with smaller, unofficial focus cities in Da Nang, Cam Ranh, and Da Lat. The rest of their domestic network made up of just about every third-tier city in the country stretching from north to south. A truly massive part of their operation, though, lies in their frequent flights between their hubs, which is one of the busiest routes on Earth. At the time of writing, VNA currently has around 31 flights per day between the cities, in each direction, most of them on wide-body aircraft. This number can rise to near 100 daily flights in each direction during peak periods around the Lunar New Year when it's common to have three or four flights scheduled to take off at exactly the same time to the same place. Today, we're utilizing Gate 26, which is used for both international and domestic flights, which is why we need to technically walk over to the international terminal to access it. The airline currently has an additional 11 aircraft on order, with around a third of their total fleet being new A350 or 787 aircraft. Currently, the government owns just over 86% of the airline, with the second largest shareholder, interesting enough, being ANA, the Japanese carrier with a 5.6% holding.
Boarding began on time for our morning flight with separate queues for Sky Priority and Economy passengers. As for today's flight stats, we'd be pushing back a pleasant 6 minutes early and heading up to just 27,000 feet for this 39-minute flight to Kamran, where we'd end up landing near 25 minutes early. Will someone please call this number and buy an ad spot here? These yellow banners have been here literally for 10 years. HSBC, perhaps? Our aircraft today is a 12-year-old A321-200 series, which is the backbone of the VNA fleet. The layout is a very standard 2x2 in business, 3x3 in economy, with my seat being today my trusty 18 Alpha. For some reason, the seat that I choose on literally every VNA flight. On VNA, when it comes to narrow body economy, you have two choices. Well, they're not your choice, but you have two possibilities older and more comfortable, or newer and less padding. I always seem to get the former of which, and I'm not complaining. Though today the seat was starting to show its age a bit. Legroom is actually better than it looks because of the loose fabric, likely around 31 inches a pitch. Your in-flight entertainment system can be found in your pocket, and we do have our own individual air vents. As we pushed back and began our taxi, the clever safety video began to roll. Today's departure would be towards the west before pulling a UE to the south of the city. The spool up, takeoff, and airport stats are coming up next. Just a note for takeoff and landing fans, I simply haven't had enough time to work on them recently. But I will again begin posting on my Roam Above channel, which is linked in the description below. Hopefully this summer. Once the seatbelt sign was off, a delicious meal service began. It included your choice of a room temperature Aquafina, or an additional wet wipe, or both if you're feeling greedy. It's alright though, a lack of a meal gave me a reason to show you the detail of the seat upholstery. Crossing over the central highlands, the lot likely somewhere below us right now, we began our descent into a soggy Kamran, crossing directly over the airfield and making a series of turns to land from the south. By the way, if you're new here, welcome and let me just tell you what sets this channel apart. Vietnam Airlines didn't invite me to fly today or compensate me in any way, shape or form. Not only were they unaware I'd be making a video, they have no idea who I am and that's how I like it to be. Why? Because content creators are recognized every day. If you recognize them, I promise you the crew does as well. And once they do, the VIP alarms start ringing and everyone starts treating them differently. I don't want to be treated differently. When I make a review video, I don't want special treatment, so I film anonymously. That is more challenging than you'd think though, so that's why every like, comment, and subscription really does mean a lot and helps the channel to continue to keep this twice-weekly content flowing. A big thanks in advance for watching today, my Patreon's linked in the description below. They are currently replacing the full apron in front of the domestic terminal, so boarding and deplaning via stairs is guaranteed at the moment. By the time we quickly got to the baggage belt, the bags were already coming out. Quite the efficient operation. 
And so, it was a standard Vietnam Airlines flight. The likes of which you've seen on the channel before, but the more that I fly, the more that I just appreciate the consistency of airlines or hotels for that matter. I really do enjoy flying VNA. And I really do hope that you enjoyed this trip report today as well. If you did, please be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss my next two videos coming from the An Lam Retreats and the Lali Resort, both in Ninvan Bay. Both videos are firsts in their own right, but also seconds. I'll explain in those videos. Thanks for watching till the end.